one of the viewers pointed out that how do you know if this sits flat and uh, at this stage I don't so I have to test it um, you could of course which I've done uh, verify that it doesn't bind up and it probably sits okay but it shall have a static fit five points per inch I will also show how to scrape steel it's very tight in the T-slots, but of course that's not a good uh, five points per inch static fit. So to prepare for the scraping of this, I uh, thought I'd pull out both a hand scraper and a um, power scraper. This blade needs to be with a different angle, a cutting angle that is, not the radius. And uh, of course, that's where expertise comes in, guidance, mentoring. And in this case, I see on one page here uh, also some notes about scraping soft steel, rough finish scrape. So, rough scrape from 0 to 20 degrees plus. And the same information is also the BIAX uh, part here. So, Having read that, also have pre been preparing the bi axis power scraper. This is the um, BL10, which is the smaller one, lighter one, which has a still um, variable speed, but the sh um, there is a shorter stroke here. So uh, first I will grind these uh, blades to a positive angle. So I've turned this now to 4 or 5 degrees positive. And just use some spirit for and slow speed. I use the down stroke now because I want the, the sharp edge to be, uh, well, it's the opposite direction. As you probably should be able to see, there is a sharp positive rake, or I can say I can actually use it on both sides, but uh, that was not the point. It was to use the knife edge, the positive cutting angle. And um, the way I ground it was, of course, that I held it so that uh, I, the um, grinding disc met the blade on top there and then ended or exited here. So the fractures, the mini fractures, would be on this end. So let's see. Oh yeah, it bites. And then it's just to proceed the normal way, but it will dig in much more likely, so take it easy. See there is more slivers, this I can see, than scraping. So I, at least now for now, I take it very lightly. Just where it is blue. Relieve this inner area here, also. I think so. I don't take that, just uh, came to me. Of course, I could use the precision ground stones that I bought from a, a scraping friend. These are actually flat. 
I mean, very flat. So um, that could be also then employed to to flatten the surface here. Also has made actually a very nice printed case for the stone that they ground uh, at an angle to get into bow tails. So I can put a link to his uh, web page or company also. So if you if you want to have so then uh, testing these again same principles as with cast iron since I have this edge here I cannot I can do like this of course Feels kind of flat. Oh yeah, definitely gets better. So I'm not far off really. So this edge also, of course, I need to test it on, on in situ, so to speak, because you, I mean you can get any kind of result here. So there we go. Uh, not really anything different than cast iron apart from the fact that it's needing you need a, a five or more positive rake on the blade and I think lighter strokes and also then um, uh, you get the slivers not the nice cast iron swarf and since this is an expensive machine I try to be gentle with it so you can have it for a lifetime so I lube it up for it each time I use it and uh, you can set of course here the stroke length I have preset it now just remember to set this correct way now that you don't can then now that you haven't equal angles you can't flip it around and just snug this up doesn't have to be super tight. Here, of course, the speed. So plug it in. Okay. Here we go. See, it bites. Life tends to bite, of course, with that kind of angle. It bites as soon as you hit it to any corner or uh, at an angle, it will bite. So I use uh, circles here. Now, for this, at least, in space. I have a twist grip also, I'm not that good with the left handed operation, but it's fine. You can see the finish you get. Just uh, it's nice, and uh, if you keep it light, I think it's okay. Back again. Watch the corner. 
Not a bit over here so you don't go over the edge. Actually this raised part here is not really needed because if you um, use screws that um, I don't think it will shift on you. So um, so let's see. Another scrape. getting better so one more iteration I really have my doubts that you know the makers would go to this extreme length maybe they did they made a machine to a certain quality not the price but anyway they had more control of the production process than me also so So, not perfect, a little bit more there and there, but it's uh, improving. I'm uh, close, I think. Can I have a little bit more contact over this side, but clamping it down, I think this will provide enough surface down here to hold it.